Hi, in this video I am going to explain uh, some hints for solving the MCQs on infinite series. So the first statement, if uh, xn and yn are two convergent series, then their uh, uh, addition and subtraction of these two series is convergent. That is addition and subtraction of two convergent series is again a convergent series. Uh, see example, if we, uh, if we have a series, a series 1 plus n upon n cube, then this series can be written in the form of series 1 upon n cube plus n upon n cube which is equal to series 1 upon n cube plus 1 by n square here in n cancel therefore we get 1 by n square this is the sum of the two convergent series this, these are the p series with p is greater than 1 therefore these two are the convergent series and this is the sum of two convergent series therefore this series is also convergent series again see another example if we have series n plus 22 upon n raised to the 5 then uh, this again can be written in this form again this is the convergent series this is the convergent series therefore this is the sum of the two convergent series therefore this is a convergent series see another example if we have a series uh, n minus n square upon n raised to the 4 which is equal to uh, summation 1 upon n cube minus 1 by n square. Uh, see, this is the subtraction of the two convergent series only as these two series are the convergent series because these are the p series with p is greater than 1, therefore, this series is convergent series. Um, note, uh, see, second note, uh, we know that the nature of the series is remain unaltered. If sign of the all terms of the series, uh, sign of all terms are changed second a finite number of terms added or subtracted from an infinite series or each term of the series is multiplied or divided by non-zero constant we can apply this to directly check the convergence and divergence of the series we know that uh, i am uh, giving here only two examples to how uh, to show how to deal with this uh, we know that the one by n is the divergent series this is the p series with p is uh, less than or equal to one here p is uh, 1 therefore this is the divergent series therefore uh, we know that all these three things therefore uh, if we change the sign then series uh, also become divergent series here if we multiply it by minus 5 by 3 then this is again the divergent series if we add a uh, finite number 2 then again this uh, is the divergent series because the uh, nature of the series is remain un unaltered Again, uh, in this example, I have added some finite number of uh, terms that is uh, 1 to 100. Again, this is the um, divergent series because I have only um, added the finite number of terms. Therefore, this these are all divergent series. See another example, if we have a uh, series 1 by n square, which is a convergent series. If we change the sign of this series, then also uh, uh, series is convergent. If we multiply this by some uh, number, then finite number then this is also convergent series if we add some finite quantity or you can sub, uh, if we add or subtract any finite quantity then also series is convergent series and here i have added a finite number of terms therefore uh, this is also the convergent series see another note if we have a uh, series uh, xn is convergent and series is yn is divergent that is then uh, subtraction and addition of these two series is always divergent that is if we have one series convergent and another is divergent then their addition and subtraction is always divergent say example if we have a series 1 plus n upon n square then this series can be written in the form 1 by n square plus 1 by n this is uh, first one is convergent series because this is the p series with p is greater than 1 and this is the P series with p is equal to 1 this is the convergent this is the divergent series therefore this is the sum of convergent plus divergent therefore this is the divergent series see another example this is the divergent series this is the convergent series sum of convergent and divergent series is again divergent therefore addition of these two is again divergent see this is the divergent series and one by n factorial is a convergent uh, convergent series therefore sum of convergent series and divergent series is again divergent series here this one is a convergent uh, this one is a divergent series and this one is convergent series we know that the sum of convergent and divergent series is again divergent series therefore 
or this series become the divergent series this is the only sum of these two series see another note if we have a series xn which is divergent and series yn is also divergent then uh, subtraction of two series or addition of these two series need not be divergent please note this thing see example if we have series n and uh, series minus n both are the divergent series both are unbounded but if we take their sum then we get uh, zero series which is equal to zero plus zero plus zero dash 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 this is the conversion series therefore sum or subtraction sum and subtraction of the divergent series to divergent series need not be divergent note next note every constant term series is divergent except zero that is if we have a zero term series that is zero plus zero plus zero this is the convergent series all other series except this series are divergent series constant term series are divergent series that is series 1 which is equal to 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 dash 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 this is divergent series 2 2 plus 2 plus 2 dash 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 this is also divergent again this is divergent this is the divergent series thank you for watching this video